we have this solid copper cylinder and on top of that we are compressing it with a force 1000 newton what will be the resulting change in volume for the whole cylinder mu poisson's ratio and young's modulus are given to us so we need the change in volume so let's start with that so volume is pi d square by 4 times l so we can differentiate both sides and what we get is delta v by v is equal to 2 delta d by d plus delta l by l i say differentiate but of course you need to differentiate and then divide by the same quantity and then you are going to get this result this is our standard result which we have derived in error analysis also so whenever the variables are are related like this this is the standard way to get the variation of each variable with respect to variation in other variables so delta v by v is equal to 2 delta d by d plus delta l by l so we know poisson's ratio for a material is the late, lateral change divided by the lateral length divided by longitudinal length change divided by longitudinal length delta d by d upon delta l by l so d in this case is the diameter so we put because uh, we know what delta l by l is in terms of young's modulus so let's write delta d by d also in terms of delta l by l so we do that so delta d by d becomes minus mu delta l by l this is as it is so this is our relation final relation that is delta v by v is equal to delta l by l 1 minus 2 mu now in this problem so this is a standard equation which we are going to use later also but in this problem we need we do we are not given the strain so we need to find the answer in terms of young's modulus so if strain is given in terms of young's modulus and f the relation will be delta l by l is equal to f by a y and there will be negative sign because we are talking about compression so delta l in compression is negative so to make the whole term positive we put a minus sign here so we do that so delta l by l we write as f upon a y with a minus sign so minus sign will go inside and this will become 2 mu minus 1 now area is also not given to us so we will write area as v by l so why we do that so that v can get cancelled from here because we need to find only delta v so we do that and we get our answer delta v is equal to fl by y 2 mu minus 1 now there's a note here that effect of mg so you might be thinking how what about mg so the in the problem the obviously the force on the top is placed on a already uh, on a cylinder which is already kept on the table so whatever the effect of mg is that would have been that would have already happened when it's placed on the floor and it won't affect further change in the volume when the force is applied on the top all right